And what happens if the NHL plays a game and nobody shows up? They didn't miss much in Atlanta. At least there's no attendance issues around here. Capacity crowd of Hockey Central tonight. Darren Millard along with Nick Kiprios and Doug McLean. Seeing those empty buildings will have people in Winnipeg and Quebec City just seething. Well, passion flows around <laughs> hey, the National yes. Hockey League right now. And how many fights have you guys been in? The tap is running dry when it comes to filling the buildings. So record low attendance on a couple of different fronts. And in one particular building, the attendance numbers are below 50%. This has been just a truly ugly situation for the National Hockey Look at Phoenix right now. That's intermission. No, Phoenix, if you take out their opening night, they're below 50%. Atlanta's crowd tonight, off the face-off, you say, okay, maybe, maybe there's a traffic jam, maybe something's happening around the arena, no people can't jam. get there. It, it did not fill up. Now, the league will say it's early, or traditionally... High school football. Yeah, in, in southern markets. But College. Mac, you, you've gone through the dilemma of filling an, an NHL arena as a general manager, as a president. How severe is the problem? Well, it's real severe because approximately 60% of your revenue comes from attendance. And that there's a ripple-down effect, obviously, to concessions, to parking, all the way through. Not to mention the attitude within the buildings and within the staff. You've got 10 franchises right now. These are not league numbers, folks. These are the team numbers. So guess what? They're inflated. So the, this the, is not even close to what they really are. The percentages to capacity. Just yeah, exactly. A, so you've got 10 franchises that are well below where they should be. And the troubling part is you're starting to see the Anaheim, the Colorado, the Dallas uh, move into this group. And we don't have Nashville in here. We don't have Carolina in here. There's probably 10 to 12 to 13 teams that are scrambling. And Phoenix, if you take out their home opener, they go all the it's, it's, it's they, ugly. They, no, the, but Phoenix in particular is 43%. Yeah, listen, it, it, it's ugly. And for some of these owners, albeit uh, uh, the league owning the Phoenix Coyotes, but uh, this is about who's got sustaining power to hang in there, which ownership group wants to continue to stroke checks for 15 or 20 million. But here's the ripple effect throughout the league is what it, what it does to franchise values and we can t we can tell you right now that Gary's obviously got uh, a certain uh, a tag number but what is really being spent and what's being perceived in the public are two different things and those values <coughs> are sucking down a lot of other teams and that can't make ownership happy throughout the whole league 9800 announced in Columbus the other night the number in the billing was 72 100 was the drop count. And Atlanta had a record uh, low this evening at 8,400. records all around the league. Uh, five of the six Canadian teams are at or above 100% capacity. Ottawa, the only one below at uh, about 97. Throw the flag because you, you appeal some of these numbers. You talked about uh, the fact that they aren't league-issued figures. But